begin. All right, this is new choreo for tap one. All right, um, what I'm going to do is I am going to break down each movement and then I will have them put the movements in the dance. So we're gonna start. This is after your pirouette, you do the triple pirouette. I want you to practice a triple. If you cannot get a triple, we'll worry about that when you get back. But for now, I'm practicing that triple pirouette. After that, you're going to do a double cramp roll. So all that is is a cramp roll, but you're going to add a flap. So you're going to do flap. All right, so you're going to do one flap cramp, one double cramp roll. So flap, and you're going to lift up your heel. I don't want to hear, hear the heel, but you're going to lift up that toe. Go to the heel, go to the knee. All right, try it again. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Next part, you're going to do a waltz claw. You do that at the beginning of the class. Dance at the beginning, it's the same thing we do. At the beginning, I did not know we already had it in a dance, but I'm not going to change it. So we're going to do that again. So it's jump, shuffle, hop, jump, shuffle, hop, jump, shuffle, hop, jump, shuffle, hop. We're going to do four of those. And at the end, it should be two eight counts. So stop, shuffle, hop, jump, shuffle, hop, stop, shuffle, hop, jump, shuffle, hop, stop, jump. That's how you're going to finish it. So stop, shuffle, hop, stop, shuffle, So you do that four times. Um, Make sure you're happy. Don't be lazy, that goes for you often. Don't be lazy, it should not be stomp, stomp, or heel. That's wrong. That's wrong. Stomp, stomp, or hop, stomp, stomp, or hop, stomp, stomp, or hop, stomp, stomp, or hop. Five, six, seven, go. Stomp, stomp, or hop. From there, you're going to do a turn. All that turn, all you're doing in the turn is stomp, stomp, hop, stomp, stomp. Let's actually let's go through the double cramp roll. From the, so from the whole new part. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From there, it's going to be a traveling time step. But we are with the traveling time step, we are changing it just a little bit more different than what we normally do. So pay attention. So let's do a regular traveling time step. A regular tra traveling time step. So step, shuffle, ball change, ball change. Hop, step, pull up, ball change. Five, six, with your left. Step, shuffle, ball change, ball change. That's a regular travel time step. We've done those in class before. Now we're going to add something to this to make this a little bit different. So halfway through, you're going to lift up your right foot and you're going to do a run, 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 run. All right, so let's break that down. It's kind of hard to do as well, so bear with us. Five, six, seven, go. Seven, go, 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 there you go. So do what Gabby just did. Try it again. Five, because it's hard to do as well. What Gabby just did. Five, six, seven, go. So stop, shuffle, ball change, ball change. Hop, run, 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 stop, shuffle. Stop, shuffle. Say this one. Five, six, try it again. Stop, shuffle. Thank you for 
Let me talk for five. Double back hands for five, six, seven, go. So that's why we stop. You're only doing four times. And then you'll go into the traveling time set. So let's, after you just did that. Five, six, seven, go. 